It's Monday night and we got six games with Nikkei to tell you about. Let's get right to it. You're watching the LKHL Update. Our top game of the day is in Nizhny Novgorod, Turf Beta House, Dynamo Moscow. Right in the first, Dynamo opened up the scoring. Matt Robinson feeds Dmitry Vishnevsky for a point shot. He goes for one, rebound, and cuts it to him bulk of net set. That's his second of the year, and Dynamo lead one nothing after 20. Second period, and now it's Turf Beta who finds the back of the net. And what a goal that is. Nikita Dvoreshinsky checks Matt Robinson, strips him of the butt, no call is made on the play, and Alexander Butkin nets it a few seconds later. Dynamo are understandably not happy with the no call decision, but they're still gonna count the goal. 1-1. A little later, Alexander Frolov shows off his magnificent skating first, then fits Slava Kolomin on the far post, and that would have been a crime not to score there. Alexander Frolov with a marvelous assist, Kolomin with his fifth of the season, and it's 2-1 torpedo. Right in the period, Andre Murana flips Linus Videl on the neutral zone, and there is no call for that either. Oh wow! Torpedo's coach Pedro Escudri is furious. He's gonna sign an official complaint about this one to the league after the game too. Rough stuff. Third period, we're just a couple of seconds in and Dynamo tie it up. Alexis Vitkov feeds Marcus Carson to the far post and he does his ninth of the year. We tie the twos. This one goes to shootout and Dynamo have an upper hand there. Alexander Yurimenko makes an unreal behind the back save on Sergei Kostitsin and then Maxim Pistushka puts a top shot for the game winner. He was a hit and gets a stand innovation from Torpedo fans as he played here for several years before joining Dynamo this summer and his team wins this one 3-2 in the shootout. Let's head over to Minsk Belarus now, every game is a party over here and tonight Dynamo plays Vitas. Not even two minutes into the first, Dynamo on a power play. Alexei Kaluzhny feeds Andrei Stepanov on the far post and he connects. Andrei Stepanov with his fifth of the year and it's 1-0 Minsk. Exactly 40 seconds later, they double their lead. Jonathan Chichu feeds Matt Allison in the slot and Jerusalem pass Harris Hattery. Dynamo get two quick goals in a row and they'll lead 2-0 now. Late in the period, Alexander Shibayev gets in on a breakaway, tries to be fancy about it, but he's just out of luck. The puck just sits on the goal line and it won't go in. Unlucky. Moving on to the second and Dynamo scoring another one. This comes off a counter attack. Nick Bellin sets up Paul Shakura for a shot and he nets it. Shakura scores his ninth of the year and it's 3 0 Dynamo Minsk. Less than two minutes later, Vitas get another breakaway chance and this time they find the back of the net. Denis Abdullin beats Mitchell Milchikov to make it 3-1. Third period now and Vitas get another one back. Alexander Nikulin with a nice backhand shot to get his second of the year. 3-2 but that's as close as he's gonna get on this one. Dynamo Mintz hold on to the one goal lead and take three points at home ice. This is Hante Mansiske and tonight Yuga hosts Jokuret. Home team gets on the board first, Andre Antonov takes a shot from the point and Vitala Sitnikov who was providing the screen puts it on a rebound, 1-0 Yugra. Let's keep ahead to the second now and Yoker is tied up. Brandon Kozen beats Philip Larson and he beats Georgi Galashvili for his first of the year, 1-1. Late on the period, Jokera grabbed the lead. Larson feeds Jesper Jensen, he fires it on that. Rebound follows, and Yuka Mati Altonen gets it to go. It's 2 1 Jokera now. But just over a minute into the last frame, Yuga get it back. Oleg Pogorishny breaks into the zone on the left wing, winds up, hammers it on that, and that's a sizzler. Just inside the post, glove side, top shelf, on rail. We tied it twos now. Late on the period, it's Yuka Mati Altinen again. He's left all alone in the right circle. He gets the puck from top Piakula and sends it in for his second of the night and fifth of the year. Top Piakula scores an empty net a few moments later, and Yuka take this one 4 2. Bratislava Slovakia now where Slovan holds Severstal and this one is all about goals. Seven minutes into the game, the puck bounces to Andrzej Nemec in the high slot, he doesn't think twice and beats Barry Bras for the third of the year, 1-0 Severstal. 
Night on the beer raid. Cam Barker picks up the puck on the left wing, cuts to the slot, and Michel Miklik finishes the job for him. Tie game 1 1. 30 seconds left in the period. Andrzej Nemec sends Vadim Bernikov on a breakaway. He goes for a simple yet effective decision. Bernikov tests his first of the year, and it's 2 1 service down. But Slovan tie it up again with just 6 seconds left in the period. Lubomir Vishnovsky takes a shot from his own end. Sergei Magorilov stops it, but he can't find the puck in time. And Mark Vitensky comes in with a touchdown. Magorilov is gonna have nightmares about this one. We tied it 2 up to 20. Halfway through the second, Pavel Buchnevich and Mitchell Kogolinski get in a non-man rush, and Kogolinski has no problem finishing this playoff with his 11th of the season. 3-2 Sarastal. A little later, Cam Barker takes a shot from the point, and Patrick Lusnak chips it past Sergei Margarila. Nice touch by Lusnak. Tie game again, 3-3 now. Still in the second, Lubomir Vishnovsky takes another shot on net, it hits Margarilov in the mask, and Rock Teacher buries it on a rebound. Slavon get their first lead of the night, it's 4-3. Third period, another open rush for Sarastal. Sergei Monakov is carrying the puck, slams on his brakes and sends it upstairs. Outstanding effort by Monakov, and this thing is tied again, it's 4-4. Game-winning goal comes on a power play. Lubomir Vishnovsky blasts it in from the point on a power play to complete his three-point night. Slavon win their second game in a row. 5-4 is your final on this one. Next on the menu, after on the list and Dana Moriga. After through the first, home team gets on the board. Vitaly Papa finds the back of the net with a nifty move down now. 1-0 up on the list. Moriga tied up early in the second period on a power play. Team says Tito that's his 11th of the year on a rebound after Guntis Galvich's shot. 1-1. Just get back to the third now and home team gets their lead back. Yuri Allo nets his ninth of the year on a rebound just 58 seconds into the period. Nice move to finish the play. 2-1. But Riga tied up halfway through the period. Tomasz Kondratik sends it in from the point with a blast. And this one is going to shoot out. And it's Kasper Solatis who wins it for Dynamo with yet another great move on his attempt. He's getting really good at this. Kasper Solatis was his second shootout winner of the season. And Dynamo wins this one 3-2. And just one more score to tell you about. Medvedchuk hosted Red Army tonight and Danny Taylor stood on his head on this one. He met a whopping total of 39 sets for his second shutout of the season, while Patrick Bjornstrand scored the overtime winner just 17 seconds into the extra frame. one nothing Medvedchuk overtime final on this one. That's it for the LKHL update tonight. More stuff to enjoy this Tuesday. Hope to see you back for the highlights. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.